Hi there! In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of DataFuel's production dashboards for IHS FieldDirect. FieldDirect and the associated Production Explorer are software services provided by IHS that allow companies to collect and store their oil and gas field data. They're great tools for data entry and storage, but not very good at visualization, reporting, or analytics. They're fairly static and inflexible, and the features are very limited. The FieldDirect database structure is complex, which makes it challenging and time-consuming to find what you're looking for. So in other words, you're capturing and storing a lot of valuable data, but you don't have a good way to visualize it and drill down into the details, and therefore, the value of that data is not fully realized. That's why we created the production dashboards for IHS FieldDirect. To answer questions like, how are our best wells performing? Which wells are down? What's causing the downtime? And how much production is being deferred? What do we expect production to do in the future? How are the wells performing versus the type curve? Where do we have stranded oil sitting in tanks out in the field? The list goes on, and I'm sure you can come up with plenty of other questions for your company. Okay, so how does it work and what does it do? This tool connects directly to your field direct source data and automatically updates as new data comes in. You can be confident that you're looking at the latest data and don't have to mess with manually updating Excel spreadsheets or other time-consuming and error-prone reports. Now, there's not enough time in a quick demo like this to go into every feature of this powerful tool, so I'll quickly describe what each page does and demo a few of them. The first page is a dashboard with all of your wells. Going from left to right, we have the well name, a stoplight for yesterday's producing status, and comments for any associated downtime reasons. The next several columns show details for the three different production streams. You can view the trend of oil production, yesterday's oil production, the average oil during the filter time period, and the recent average oil calculated over the number of days input here. Right now, this data is showing the average oil for the last seven days, but we can easily change that to the last 90 days or whatever time period you'd like to see. The rest of the columns in this table show the same data, but for gas and water. The bottom section shows metered volumes for both gas and liquid meters, broken down by meter type. The filter controls on the left let you customize what is shown on this page. You can filter to a specific well, a group of wells, and change the time frame. The production screen provides a very interactive view of your production. You can trend all of the production streams like oil, gas, water, and BOE, view pressures, and GORs. Just like the previous page, the charts respond to the filter controls, which makes it really easy to find the wells or time period you're looking for. You can also view production by clicking a well on the map, or selecting a group of wells. When there are multiple wells selected, you may want to compare the trends of each well like this, or compare them on a normalized time scale, or view the normalized cum curves of each well. As you can see, this graph is far more flexible than the views in Production Explorer. The table at the bottom is tied to the filters and input field letting you quickly calculate production metrics over a specific time period. The forecast page lets you draw type curves on top of your actual production data using the modified hyperbolic decline equation. You can specify a forecast duration to estimate what production will do in the future and calculate the EUR. I won't be showing this feature in this video, but would be happy to schedule a demo for you. The downtime screen shows the split between hours producing and hours down. You can quickly spot days with the most downtime and get a sense of your overall uptime percentage over time. To investigate downtime for a certain day or time period, just select the dates and the graphs below update to show you the well names, downtime reasons, and deferred production amount in BOE. Just like the other pages, the charts respond to the map and filters, which makes it really easy to find data for a specific well. 
The next two pages show information about the gas and liquid meter volumes. These pages are set up just like the other pages with a map, charts, and tables. They're very interactive and user-friendly, helping you quickly find the data you need. The Tank tab has a map with all of your storage tank locations, the daily tank volumes, and tank size details so you can monitor tank levels, plan trucking routes, and find stranded oil in the field that needs to be sold. If you're looking for numerical data, the Daily Details has it. This page shows a well-by-well -well table with useful information like production rates, QM calculation, producing hours, downtime reasons, and more. This table is very flexible and can be aggregated at the daily, monthly, quarterly, or yearly level. The current view shows the wells grouped into rows, and scrolling down shows the next wells but you can also position the wells and columns next to each other, which is great for making comparisons or looking at a high level monthly summary. We're currently looking at the last 90 days of data, but that can easily be changed with this input field. The report screen lets you generate reports of your key metrics over a specific time period. For example, you can run a weekly report starting on a specific date with production details for each well. The report can be exported into Excel, PowerPoint, or PDF for easy distribution. The data screen has your raw, field direct data in an easily exportable, tabular format. Okay, so that concludes the demo, but like I said earlier, we didn't cover all of the features that this tool offers. If you'd like to see more of this template and go into more detail on some of the features, like the production forecast, tank analysis, or custom reporting, we'd love to set up a more thorough demo for you and your company. Just email us at info at datafuelresources.com. To quickly review, the production dashboards for IHS Field Direct connects directly to your Field Direct source data, giving you a live view of what's going on in the field. Whether you're using the Access databases or the newer SQL version, it takes just a few minutes to set this up at your company. This tool is very user-friendly with filters, input controls, and interactive charts. There are a wide variety of views to analyze the production, forecast, downtime, meter, and tank data at your company. This tool gets the data out of the Field Direct database and into the hands of your best engineers, analysts, and managers, providing actionable information and extraordinary value to your company. For more info, visit the link in the video description or email us at info at datafuelresources.com.